In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the yo-yo loach, also sometimes referred to as the Pakistani loach. This footage right here is of a younger yo-yo loach, and it's perfect because they get their name from when they're younger on the sides of their bodies. Their patterns read the words yo-yo. If you look closely, it looks just like Y-O-Y-O. When they get older, they get more patterns, more of those black lines, and it doesn't read yo-yo anymore. It doesn't read anything. It's just a lot of patterns of different little black lines. So this fish originates from the waters of India and Pakistan in that region. It's a semi-aggressive fish that gets up to about 5 inches. It prefers water temperatures of 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit with a pH of 6.5 to 7.5. And this fish is pretty much going to eat anything. It'll eat live food, frozen food, flake food, pretty much anything it can fit in its mouth. And when they're larger, when they get to be up to three, four, five inches, they've been known to eat little crustaceans and invertebrates too. They'll eat snails. They'll pull them right out of the shell. They'll eat little shrimp. So you do have to be careful of that. Now, these are generally kept in groups of three to six or more. Um, they don't recommend that you keep these by themselves, and the only reason you see one by itself here in this video, it's kind of a long story, but I had a friend who could no longer take care of their tank, so I took the fish and I just haven't been able to find any local fish stores that are carrying yo-yo loaches at the moment, but I'm sure I will find one soon. I've kept yo-yo loaches on and off for the last couple of years, and they're definitely one of my favorite fish because of how smart they are, they'll actually sometimes when you walk in the room, they'll recognize that you're there and they'll come right up to the glass and swim right in front of you. And because of how energetic they are, this fish is nonstop. It's definitely one of the most active fish I've had in any of my aquariums. He's just constantly searching for food, constantly active and moving around. They'll make a little clicking noise when they grab food at the surface and you'll notice them using those little barbells on their mouth to dig through the gravel looking for any little food that they can find. And it's recommended that you have some hiding places in your tank for when you first introduce the fish, but after, say, maybe a week or two, they'll, they'll get very confident they won't use the hiding places anymore. Mine never hides, he's always out in the open. And this is often referred to as a scaleless fish, although it actually does have very, very small scales on it. So technically speaking, it isn't really a scaleless fish. And if you were looking to try to breed this fish, I wouldn't suggest it because there are little to no recorded accounts of people actually breeding this fish in captivity. And just for reference, this is what they end up looking like when they get older. They lose that yo-yo pattern and they just get a whole lot more lines on their body. And yeah, I just think this is a really cool fish overall and I was hoping to provide you guys with some more information on the yo-yo loach. So if you guys found this helpful in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome aquarium videos just like this. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.